Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Nareet and today I'm going to introduce you to a man that changed my life forever. His name is Gabor Hassani. I've been on a spiritual path for over 40 years. I've traveled all over and studied with many different teachers and did many, many, many practices and had fabulous, tantalizing spiritual experiences. But I have not found the, what I was looking for. I did not get the results that I wanted until I met Gabor. Yes, of course, I developed a well-established self-image, <laughs> which is a nicer name of saying spiritual ego, but I didn't find the enlightenment, I didn't find the awakening that I was looking for until I met Gabor. Now, I've been with you, Gabor Hosani, for about nine years now. And I've watched you develop many techniques and methods to help people achieve uh, what they're looking for in an easy way. I've watched Gabor work with many people. I've watched him help f people from anywhere from fixing relationships, improving careers, uh, family issues, depression, you name it. But most importantly, he's helped people with actually awakening, the real awakening. And I might say that some of his students are totally awake and well on their way to mastery, which is really amazing. So today, I'm going to ask you, Gabor, what is it that you teach? <laughs> Tell us. Uh, you could have asked an easier question. <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, I, I also greatly appreciate Nurit's uh, input into my life and organization and care and love, without which, you know, I... I would not be sitting here, I would probably be uh, living in a small village and I would not really care about teaching this because everything is fine. I don't need to do it. I enjoy it. I don't need to do it, but uh, uh, Nurit's organizational ability and love of this subject um, is really helpful to, uh, to spread this to teach this, although I don't like this word, to, to share this kind of knowledge. So what is it that uh, I teach is not possible in uh, explaining it in words. And since we only have words at our disposal, we'll try anyway. So um, when we, I could say that us as people, when we navigate our world, we use our senses to navigate it. So we navigate it by knowing that there is a contrast between what I'm seeing. There is black, this is white, this is tall, this is short. So that's where the street car is and that's where the train is. So making distinctions visually is one way of navigating our world. We can do that visually, we can do that with our hearing. One type of music we prefer to the other, and uh, we can hear the big truck outside versus we can hear the uh, bird whistling. So we make distinctions in an auditory fashion. We also make distinctions in a, in a, in a feeling fashion. So we have tactile, we have uh, we have the senses where we can touch something and something is soft, something is harsh. And, uh, and that is still in duality because there is the difference between feeling this and feeling that. So this, we navigate our world with our senses. That basically helps us navigate our world in a duality fashion. And we need this navigational tool Otherwise, we couldn't cross the street or we couldn't build a building or build a bridge. When it comes to awakening, which is a fancy word, it goes by other words. Sometimes people say awakening, sometimes enlightenment, sometimes whatever. Whatever the word is, it's not, it's not correct. There is no correct word for this type of thing. So let's use the word awakening. Then we 
Another way to explain it is we learn to navigate our world not by making differences or distinctions between things, but by unifying these things. So basically the ability goes, okay, I'm unifying with that thing and I'm unifying with this other thing. I can be unified, I'm unifying with any life situation, an angry person on the street, I'm unifying with it. The whistling of the bird, the beauty of a rose, I'm unifying with that. I can also unify with an, with an abandoned factory, a rusty factory. Uh, of course, this requires a whole bunch of explanations, which uh, is, is, is a very long, but Bottom line is, it's another way to navigate our planet, our world. And the, the combination of navigating our world with uh, duality from our senses and navigating our world with the unifying way is the mastery of life. So the combination of the two, the using of the two is the mastery that we are striving, we are looking for. Um, when we are searching for betterment in our life, it does not mean that we have to now draw a line and say, okay, from here on end, I'm going to be in a quiet forest, uh, not having sex, and I'm going to be just unifying with the forest. <laughs> on the contrary, for mastery uh, of this type of knowledge, we require to unify with every situation in life so that everyone else would benefit. So, uh, <clears throat> the, um, and we can call it being. And if, we, if I go back for a minute to making distinctions with my senses, the reality we're talking about is in the, con in the reality called nonsense. So we have sense reality. This other one, because we don't use those uh, faculties, it's really in the con in this reality of nonsense. We're not using our senses. Um, the contrast mind that we use every day to navigate our world values anything that is in the contrast mind values, differences, values, distinctions. That's how we navigate our world. Anything that is not such is not valuing whatsoever. So, um, we, to, to get to that level, what we need to do is we go beyond duality with our nonsense with our nonsense creating attention. So, to go to the world of nonsense is where awakening is. The world of nonsense is need to be activated within us. The ability and all the tools and all the requirements that is required for this level is already here within us. So when Jesus said the kingdom of God is within you, it's true, it truly is. Uh, all the tools, all the requirement is already there. Like if you wanted to create a beautiful meal, uh, all, all the ingredients are there, you just need the recipe. So how do we go beyond our, our sense-related values? How do we get into this nonsense? Nonsense automatically implies that we don't use our senses. To activate the sensor that would help us navigate our world in a unifying fashion, we need to take our attention, that normally focuses that way, and we need to shift it. We need to shift our attention from a normal uh, way of looking, hearing, touching out, this way. So, I call this type of attention angular attention, simply because in comparison to the world of sense that we use, it's in an angle. So if here's the world of senses, 
past and the future, the horizontal, I usually show it like this. The world of nonsense is in an angle to it. Mastery is to be able to navigate both at the same time. This reality that we're going to enter into is always present, every moment. It's not something that we reach in time, it's, it's always there, it's an accompanying consciousness. I call it angular reality. Yeah. The reason I call it angular reality is because uh, to, in English the word angle and angel is almost the same, angle, angel. It's probably not a coincidence. Also, based on uh, stuff that we're hearing, uh, uh, anecdotal evidence, or uh, we read some sort of a wise wisdom from books, it is said that we connect to the we, we connect to God through the angels. So if we substitute the word angel to angle. It's absolutely true. It is the angles, the angels, our attention, the angular attention, that connects us to the world of God, so-called God. We can say God, we can say universe, we can say unconditional love, whatever word we use, it's not it, because in order to get there we must go beyond the duality aspect of that word. When, when we take our attention and learn how to focus our attention in an angular fashion that could be learned, we activate within us the world of God that's already there. Uh, we activate, we get in touch with a power that runs our body. It is very popular to say, I'm not the body, I'm not the body, I'm not the body. And that's partially true, but it's a very, it's an extremely damaging st statement. Because, okay, I'm not the body, but something runs this body is definitely not my understanding. <laughs> is definitely not the template that's in my head. I couldn't run my body for two seconds. So something runs my body that is way beyond my senses, way beyond my understanding, way beyond the templates that is in my head, and way, way, way beyond my self-image. <laughs> Whatever I imagine myself to be, this is not it way beyond the self-image. So, by allocating our attention in this angular direction, we can be almost immediately in touch with the world, the universe that runs the body, the intelligence of this body. And the moment we do, the moment we get in touch with it, we're already at that particular level of consciousness. We don't need to look for it, we don't need to deserve it, we're simply in touch with it. We already have the inherited right for this. Everyone inherited this ability. We don't have to deserve anything, change anything. We don't have to shine up all kinds of abilities. It's not really normal time. So it's in a context of feeling, but not, not the duality kind of feeling. It's the type of feeling that we get by angling into the body. And when we are in touch with this amazingly beautiful, loving thing, then we realize that this type of feeling is not the same type of good feeling what we get when, for instance, we are meditating. This is not the feeling of a calm mind. This is a feeling, the sensing of the universe, which appears calm from the mind's perspective. 
from the duality perspective, from the senses perspective. Of course, it's not valued by the mind because anything that the mind doesn't sense, it can, it won't value. The mind also labels this level difficult. It's not difficult at all. It's the easiest thing ever. So, talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Gabor. This it was wonderful. And uh, thank you everyone for watching. And if you like what you saw in this video, please go ahead and add your name to our mailing list. And we will send you another video, a free video, with more of Gabor's teachings. Thanks again, and all the best. <laughs>